So instead of making something of your pathetic life, you decided to vlog on the streets of Mexico. You're gonna need a camera for that. And why you choose Fuji? I don't know. You want nice colors and dynamic range, but your audience doesn't care because it's shaky as shit. But I will tell you the best lens for your system. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So the real answer to what's the best lens for the Fuji system for vlogging is really just don't choose Fuji for this. It's not its strength. They fixed the autofocus. We'll see about that today. But they didn't fix the stabe, which is more important. Autofocus, if it misses you and goes to the background, that's good for your audience. They prefer to see what's out there anyway, instead of your boring mouth. If you don't have good autofocus, but good stabe, you have something. So right now we're on the Fuji X-H2S Zeiss. 12 mil Tony 2.8, this might be the leader. I'm thinking, what would you do different? I have a list of things that you might consider, but this is probably your, it's up there. Unless you use a shotgun mic, because the autofocus loud motors are loud. I don't know English, do I? Is there any books in here? No, it's just orange juice cartons. So you might be thinking, oh, I want Fuji, the F-Log 2, the dynamic range. Oh my goodness, I, I need this in my life. I want to be exposed with the sky. You don't deserve this. You're not on this level quite yet. Did you see that whole thing? Oh, that was embarrassing. It's a heat. Oh, that's a plot twist. Okay, so number one on my list so far is this Zeiss 12 mil Tony 2.8, because it's Zeiss. And even though I don't detect any 3D pop, Zeiss is known for putting that in some of their lenses, and this might have it. I just don't see it. And just a little side rant. I've come to realize that if you would just go somewhere and stand and talk about something, just do this, blah, blah, shit, and then you move on to your next scene, and now you're next to purple flowers, you're not walking. Fuji Stabe is good enough. We have digital Stabe on. It's fine. I find... Fuji, even though I'm careful, their stabe isn't very good. That's a bad problem. I miss the days where I could just walk with Panasonic. This is what I would do on Panasonic. I'd be like, yeah, man. And then I'm thinking of stuff. I'm not thinking of my arm holding a camera. It was my arm. The camera was me. And we existed together. I miss those days. And yes, we're going back to my roots and getting some slow-mo squirrel footage with animal eye detect this time. The next obvious choice, if you can't afford the Zeiss, look for it used. I found one, I was lucky. It would be the Samyang 12 mil Tony 2. There's a manual focus only version and a new auto focusing one. I haven't tried the auto focusing one. I can't guarantee it'll even work, but the manual focus one, I wouldn't like recommend it. I had it and sold it because it wasn't very sharp I do believe there was a slight color tinge to it, a green, green with envy for better lenses. It's not like your best bet, but if you set the manual focus, you just stop. You could do worse, but not much worse. One lens that's definitely not on my list is the 10 to 24, which everybody seems to think that's your lens. It's heavy, it's too wide, it still waves in the corners. Tony 4, let me see if I can convince myself that Tony 4 is okay. This is basically what you would be getting, only a bit wider, but you might want to zoom in anyway on that lens to get slightly less wobblies. 12 mil Tony 2, 4. Oh god, I, I saw the 4. I saw it. Is Tony 4 enough though? Maybe there's potential beauty in it and I can convince myself that this is fine. I'm leaning further away from Tone Madness, where just everything is just your face. It's egotistical, I must say. And let's all stop down tonight. You stopping? Where's all the squirrels? There's not one squirrel. There used to be hundreds of them, or at least three. Man. When it comes to the 16 mil 1.4, you're thinking of it. Let's stop back down. What, what are we doing? May the autofocus gods trust us. In my opinion, you don't have to put into the equation, will the autofocus of this lens hold me? 
on the X-H2S. It seems that it's much more reliable for the face. We'll see what happens today with a hat shaded. I do see the box on me, so it could work. So you don't have to think, okay, the 16mm 1.4, even though it's loud, it was reliable. Whereas like the 14mm 2.8 was hunting a lot. So don't think about that. 16 1.4, too much background blur. So why not the 16 2.8? I'll tell you why. If you're only vlogging, the 16.2.8 is gooder. But if you want to do this and go home for a YouTube vlog in your basement, case in point, you're sitting here, you're talking to your audience, 16 1.4 will look much better at home. But it's heavier to bring with you and they're the same focal length. You would never want to own both. So that really sucks. Don't get either, ever. You know the shocking thing is, Fuji's widest prime is 14 mil 2.8. And it's so old. It was the worst lens I've ever tested, but looked amazing. It had like these wobbles that were severe and the focus drifting. I do wonder if it might be okay now. It was kind of heavy too. I don't know. They need to update that thing. There's a bee on my finger holding. Oh, don't touch me. A 14 mil 1.4. I wouldn't hate it. I wouldn't mind you. Fly in front of the lens. I don't command bees. That's disappointing. I've been using this as a studio cam. I kind of like it. In the right scenario, if your room's spread out enough 18 is kind of cool 2.8 i don't mind they're not being super separation i kind of wish this was a 12 mil 1.4 but it isn't it would be nice to see a wide 14 mil 1.4 let's just do it fuji you working on it no they're never working on it the only thing fuji's ever working on is how to improve their photography and then pretend that they also do video I should, this animal I detect in photos, it's like sticky green thing. It's like boom, boom, every shot. I took like 15 shots of a heron. Every single one was in focus. It was Fuji focus though, sharp and wormy. Unsharp and wormy, I mean. It's so much better than the video. I don't understand how it can be so much worse. One thing you must remember, it's not all about the spec. You think that the Samyang Tony 2 better than this Zeiss 2.8. That's what I used to think. That's why I bought the Samyang. I was like, more tonne. What are we even doing here? Why are we even debating this? Just add to cart. And I did. This is not the case. The numbers are meaningless. It's the company and the quality of the glass, the elements. Zeiss, you can't beat a Zeiss. This could be a 12 mil 24 Zeiss. Outperform anything. That's why someone mentioned Tokina. 14 to 20 Tony 2. It's a APS-C Canon EF lens. Canon C100 Mark II with that lens? Oh my god, it's faster. No, it's not faster than the Sigma, but it's wider and almost as fast. I guarantee you that thing is nowhere near the Sigma in sharpness and just quality. There's something off with it. The colors will be messed. The sharpness, the autofocus, the everything. So don't just read the numbers you mathematician whore. Read your heart. Tap in there and you'll feel it. You know that Zeiss is your only choice. If Fuji could actually fix their stabe so I could walk and get somewhere in a respectable time, you might consider Fuji. But it's not all about beauty and dynamic range and oh my god, the sky is still there. Even though that was the most beautiful thing you've seen today. There's more to life but Zeiss is your lens, I think. That's the one I would get, I did get it. It's the only lens I have for Fuji, other than the 100 to 400. Kinda wouldn't mind the 16 mil 1.4 again, but I'm not gonna get it, it's too loud. And that's why I'm waiting for a 14 mil 1.4. Where's the squirrels? There's not one squirrel, there's birds. Tiny ones, sparrows, dogs. A lot of dogs and kids. Do squirrels not like those? Apparently, well, we've learned that.
down there is a cult of theater performing Halloween mask wearing people who I do love because Jesus taught me to love them. I don't I don't feel weird about them. I like what they're doing. So what do you think? Is there a better lens that I missed? I highly doubt it. So hopefully I found a squirrel by this time. Look out below. There's no squirrel. Oh, they lie. That's a problem. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Subscribe. Buy a camera conspiracies t-shirt. Fuji Assassin Edition. My bag covers up the logo. That's a, that's on me.